Hello guys, this is Kamo and in this video we are going to take a look at the new user interface that was recently launched by the WhatsApp in their beta program. So it will be pushed to the normal users in coming months or so. And as far as I can see, it is still a, a Silverlight application. So you may see the resuming thing here and there still. Um, there was a discussion on the reddit forums about you know switching to the uwp application and personally i feel that this should stick to silverlight to you know uh to support the windows phone 8.1 users for as long time as they can because let's face it most of uh, us were left behind by microsoft so this is the new beta uh, you can see the new design language and it almost looks like a clone of the people's app let me fire it for you and show it that show that show it the new people app so you see uh this is the people's app you see big tie big tabs on the top and let's f fire the new one new whatsapp there you see little bit of resuming the uh, similar user interface so micro so this whatsapp group the developers are finally back from vacation and they are following the new windows phone guidelines so the user interface looks much more cleaner the search button you have on the bottom the you can send images directly now you can send a new message by typing on the plus icon Yes, there are some quirks, uh, for instance, the status is mixed with their names, but that is expected in the beta program. Uh, most probably they, they'll be done away, the error will be removed in the final iterations of the app. So easy to make a call, press the call button, select the contact and make a call from there video call is similar you have your favorites here you see some glitches there but that's expected but uh, I really it's, it's really nice to see that uh, a company like whatsapp is still working their ass off to support the windows phone platform unlike others who have just bolted out lately and it's also nice to see that they are following the Windows Phone 10 user interface even though this is, this is not a true Windows Phone 10 app uh, you know but WhatsApp does the same for the iOS as well where they are following the uh, iOS design guidelines uh, and it's nice that you are not trying to make your app similar for all platforms for instance their android app looks like a true android app it doesn't look like an ios app ported to an android which is nice so i'll be mentioning few details in the description down below on how to enroll into this beta program so that you can also download this on your phone my windows phone and as far as i know it works on windows phone 8.1 as well let me know if it doesn't work I'm not sure because this one is running when latest release of the Windows Phone, Windows 10 mobile. Give like this video a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. And subscribe for Windows Phone news. Bye bye.